New rule, if you're a Christian who supports killing your enemies and torture, you have to come up with a new name for yourself. For almost 2,000 years, Christians have been lawyering the Bible to try and figure out how love thy neighbor can mean hate thy neighbor, and how turn the other cheek can mean screw you, I'm buying space lasers. <laughs> Martin Luther King gets to call himself a Christian because he actually practiced loving his enemies. And Gandhi was so fucking Christian he was Hindu. Jesus lays on that hippie stuff pretty thick. He has lines like, do not repay evil with evil and do not take revenge on someone who wrongs you. Really, it's in that book you hold up when you scream at gay people. And, and not to put too fine a point on it, but nonviolence was kind of Jesus' trademark. Kind of his big thing. To not follow that part of it is like joining Greenpeace and hating whales. I mean, you know, there's interpreting, and then there's just ignoring. It's just ignoring if you're for torture as are more evangelical Christians than any other religion. You're supposed to look at that figure of Christ on the cross and think, how could a man suffer like that and forgive? Not, Romans are pussy, he still has his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, I can say that because I'm a non-Christian, just like most Christians. <laughs> I'm not even judging you. I'm just saying logically, if you ignore every single thing Jesus commanded you to do, you're not a Christian. You're just auditing. <laughs> you're not Christ's followers. You're just fans. And if you believe the earth was given to you to kick ass on while gloating, you're not really a Christian. You're a Texan. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much.